हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट मिलेट्स और माइनर मिलेट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज मिलेट्स मिलेट्स आर ग्रुप ऑफ हाईली वेरिएबल स्मॉल सीडेड ग्रासेस वाइडली ग्रोन अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एज सीरियल क्रॉप्स और ग्रेन फॉर फोडर एंड ह्यूमन फूड मिलेट्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट क्रॉप्स इन द सेमी एरिड ट्रॉपिक्स ऑफ एशिया एंड अफ्रीका and minor millets mainly a type of millets which are grown on small scales that is why it's called minor millets now we discuss about finger millets which comes under the category of minor millets it is scientifically known as illusion corkeno finger millet is an annual plant widely grown as a cereals it are also known as ragi and mandua it can be grown for grains and fodder its grain are consumed in form of ragi balls rotis dosa cakes biscuits a fermented beer is also produced by the fermentation of the grain of this crops in africa nutrient composition ragi is also known as nutri grain because it contain low amount of fat that is 1.35% moisture is 13.24% protein content is 9.2% carbohydrate is 74.36 fiber content is 1.52% and minerals are 2.3% origin and history literature from ecrset as well as cytological evidences suggest that finger millet was originated in ethiopian highlands and introduced to india 3000 years back african native illusion africana has more resembles with cultivated illusion corkena than indian local grass illusion indica this is scientific classification of this crop area and production it can be grown near about 25 countries of asia and africa from which uganda india nepal and china are the major growing countries in india it is grown at about 1.5 million hectare with average productivity of 1.5 to 2.4 tons per hectare as compared to other minor mills it is high yield potential due to its special feature like responsiveness to the high fertility high tilling ability high photosynthetic ability mid in india major growing areas are karnataka maharashtra uttarakhand tamil nadu odisha soil and climatic conditions the ideal temperature required for the germination is 24 degree celsius a mean temperature of 26 to 29 degrees celsius is optimum for the growth crop yield are reduced at a temperature below 20 degrees celsius crop possess good drought tolerance but is highly sensitive to frost it is grown on a wide range of soil with varying fertility it prefer porous and well drained soils it has the best ability to tolerate salinity among cereals alluvial and loamy soils are suitable for this crop deep versatile and rocky soils are not suitable for this crop to poor drainage and lower fertility it can be grown in soils with ph of 5.5 to 7.5 season and system of cultivation mainly ragi crop grown as a kharif crop rabi or summer crop with irrigated condition in kharif season pre monsoon monsoon or late season are mainly prefer in rabi season some 
or summer season it can be easily grown with light irrigation it is also transplanted with two to three seedlings are transplanted after 20 to 25 day after sowing drilling of ragi crop is also done with the help of a seed drill or it can also be drilled with the help of seed cum fertilizer seed drill mainly broadcasting method of sowing is followed in india in up for raising of ragi nursery mainly a seed bed required mainly the dimension of seed bed is 7.5 meter long 1.2 meter is width and 10 cm from up the ground for this firstly we have to apply a farm yard manure at the rate of 15 kg per bed after that we have to apply 0.5 kg ammonium sulfate plus 1 kg single superphosphate or 0.5 kg manure of potash after that seeds are broadcasted on the beds irrigate regularly it and after that after 12 days top dressing of 0.5 kg urea plots is done varieties in kharif season raju 8 vl 148 pr 202 a404 vl 149 MR1 L5 early kharif suraj champavati late kharif godavari PR202 ratnagiri in rabi season padmavati kalyani late rabi godavari seed rate and spacing maintaining a population of 4.16 lakh per hectare 30 into 8 cm is ideal for high yield however lower population up to 3.3 lakh per hectare 30 into 10 cm will be not affected the yield due to the compensation by more tillers broadcast method require 25 kg seeds but uniform stand of the crop and poor yield may be expected by such method seed drilling or plowing soil method in line require about 10 to 12 kg per hectare and require a through thinning drilling drill sowing result into a varying population that depend upon the ideal soil moisture or rainfall situations transplanting of seedlings require around 5 kg per hectare of seeds and ensure ideal level of population now nutrient management under irrigated condition 50 to 100 kg of nitrogen and 20 to 50 kg of phosphorus and potassium are applied the high yield ability of variety used is the main guiding force to decide the dosage and beside the fertility status of the soil entire p phosphorus and potassium fertilizer along with half dose of nitrogen are applied as a basal and the remaining half dose is applied in two splits at 45 days after planting or 60 days after planting under rain fed situation the availability and distribution of the rains besides fertility status and sorry are the guiding factor to decide the doses of fertilizer a range of 40 to 60 kg nitrogen 20 to 40 kg phosphorus and 20 kg potassium per hectare is recommended in different rain fed region of the ragi growing areas application of zinc or zinc sulfate at the rate 12 to 15 kg has been particularly useful in increasing the grain yield use of azospirlim and azoto vector as a seed treatment at the rate 375 g per hectare is also found to increase the yield now irrigation ragi is most efficient use of water its water use efficiency is highest than 
most other cereals its water requirement varies from 30 to 35 cm during kharif season it utilizes even a scarce rainfall and efficiently convert into dry matter during rabi or summer season it may have to be irrigated using 30 to 40 cm water what ragi is slendum irrigated when necessary it is irrigated in ridges and furrow layout or basin system weed control critical stage to control weeds is up to 35 days after sowing or planting mechanical control by 2 to 3 intercultivations is necessary to be supplemented with one hand weeding pre emergent application of oxychloroquine at the rate 0.5 liter active ingredient per hectare or butaclor butaclor at the rate 1.01 active ingredient per hectare within 1 to 2 days of sowing or transplanting may control many weeds and control of weeds is necessary in similar way to get high seedlings pests number of pests attack on this crop like stem borer bihar cater hairy caterpillar grasshopper and aphids for the effective controls or the damage of pest can be lowered down by the application of recommended pesticides disease blast it is a major disease affecting the leaves peduncles and ear head even it can affect junk seedling also so it can be easily treated with the application or with the seed treatment of theorem of kerosene or use of blast resistant variety or avoiding late sowing can be control this disease down nimble dew symptom similar to pearl mildew may be developed when infected by downy mildew fungus as a result the plant may be stunted or leaves may arise closer than the normal plant it can be controlled by the spray of 0.2% mancozib harvesting crop mature in a duration ranging from 70 days to 160 days depending on the variety and light availability harvesting is done by cutting the ear heads drying them for 3 to 4 days under the sun and threshing later to separate grain using stone rollers alternately alternately thresher may be used the dried stalk will be cut later and used as a cattle feed the grain should not be have moisture more than 12% for long unaffected storage the yield of 20 to 25 quintal per hectare rain fed or 40 to 45 quintal per hectare in irrigated conditions may be expected along with straw yield of 60 to 80 quintals in rain fed or 80 to 100 quintal per hectare in irrigated conditions so this is the storage moisture percent minimum required for this is 12 point 12 percentage thanks